this is Dorothy with Done by Dorothy, and I am here today to share a haul with you. I have stuff everywhere on my table, so please forgive the mess if you see some of this stuff. It's everywhere. Um, so let's get with it. I bought some things from the Goodwill and Half Price Books and Hobby Lobby and Five Below. Um, I think that's it. So I have a combination of things that I'll be sharing, but. These actually came from the Goodwill, um, so I got them for, these were 50 cents a piece. I got a book on Farmer's Grease, which, you know, has pictures and all kinds of maps and stuff, and it's just like a travel guide, so we're going to send, you know, flip through every one of those. Um, there's a Discover Spain one, and again, it's got a few pictures in it, maps, all that kind of thing. So, I mean, some of these are really nice pictures and maps. For 50 cents, it's worth it for the little maps, because, I mean... I have a lot of bigger maps, but it's hard to find the small maps. Um, you know, it's perfect for like a page layout or if I'm going to do some. And I like traveling, so, you know, I may do some travel journals. I like to do a set from like all the major countries. Um, if you get a chance, these are all 50 cents. If you get a chance and you ever come across the DK Eyewitness Travel Guide and you're looking for a certain area, these are the ones to grab. These are awesome. I mean, by far... They just have amazing pictures. I mean, like, seriously, how easy is it to cut that off around the corner, around the corner, and you've got a car, you've got a, you know, a piece of ephemera that gives you, you know, it does have the page numbers, but it has all of the areas on it. So, I mean, I think that's sort of cool. Um, and again, there's just tons of colors. The pictures in these are so vivid. Um, I mean, and they have older stuff and they've got newer stuff and just, you know, they have a history, um, like a historical account. So, you know, there's lots of, you know, little details, little things you can fussy cut. Um, just like pages of, uh, I mean, there's, you know, green London, the trees that you see, um, which, I mean, how awesome would that to be, you know, to put in our Easter journal? And it's got, like, the half. It shows it with leaves and without leaves. I mean, that's just neat. Um, London area by area. A lots of, like, model-type pictures and just a ton of stuff. Um, I'm trying to flip through this because I do have quite a bit of stuff. But, yeah, there is a ton of really nice pictures in here. Um... Let me try to see a traveler's needs. I think that's where it's at. Let me see. There is a traveler's needs section. Um, maybe back here. Yeah, it's back in here. Um, children's London. So, I mean, you get like dolls and dinosaurs. and So, I mean, you're not stuck with just, there's a Humpty Dumpty doll. You know, a retro Humpty Dumpty doll. And, so, I mean, there's even nature stuff that you can see. But the survival guide part is always the best part. Um, like it has the sightseeing buses, um, you know, tourist information. So if you're going to travel, you can actually, you know, put, you know, like the emergency phone numbers and have them inside your junk journal, you know, your travel junk journal you're going to take with you. So you have those numbers with you. Um, there's a money section where they have actual dollars and... They actually have, like, you know, the two pence, the one penny, the one pound, and all that. They have pictures of all that, so you can cut those out, fussy cut those, and, you know, be able to reference that. Um, the postal service, you know, they've got little stamps and, you know, little envelopes, you know, where if you scan those at high enough quality, you can actually blow those up to get, you know, some good size out of them. Um, getting to London, airline information, tons of... Just all kinds of stuff. And the back is just tons of, you know, full-size maps. You know, so you could do these on, like, pull-outs. You know, since they're split in two. You know, naturally fold your page in your journal like that where it flops open and you have your whole map there. You know, and be able to reference these. Now, this one, this one is from 2003. Let me double-check that to make sure that that's correct. Yes, this one's from 2003, but you can buy these as current as this year, as 2020, 
already. So, I mean, if you got a 2020 and you're going to travel, it's going to be your most current information if you're going to use it to travel with. Now, if you're just using it to add, these are great. Um, and like I said, you know, if you want to add it into your junk journal, you know, so you have that stuff with you while you travel instead of having to carry like, you know, an information book plus your junk journal plus, you know, whatever. You can actually use some of those pages, decorate it with some of the stuff in here, and you've got memorabilia in there from your trip. Um, you know, because you could go in with a fine line marker and, you know, actually, you know, do your little route of places you visited on a map and that kind of thing. So, um, but you would want to get, you know, the more recent one if you were going to do that to actually travel with. So, here's that. And here's a Rick, Steve, a Rick Steve's France. And again, I love these. I, I love these little maps. I mean, seriously. I mean, and there's like page after page of just little bitty maps. You know, and they've got the numbers and they tell you, you know, what each area is. Um, and, and not only that, but like you can find, Rick Steve does mostly Europe, but you can find um, like the DK for, you know, places in the U.S. and New Orleans and, you know, different places like that. So, so I always grab my travel books like that and throw them because you never know what you're going to need them for. Um, I got this little book. It was 25 cents. It was the Sonnets of William Shakespeare. And, you know... It's got a pretty cool picture of them in there. You know, the nice little plate. And then, you know, it's just page after page of his sonnets. You know, and some large um, images. Like this is Stratford of Av Av on Avon. Um, so, you know, there's just a ton of things. And like this Stratford of Avon on Avon. I may actually keep this image because for when I do my sewing... Junk journal, and I'll tell you why because I have a needle book that is the map and everything for Stratford on Avon by William Shakespeare. Um, it's from like 1914, so you know, I may put this in there with that. So, you know, there's just Anne Hathaway's cottage on in Stratford on Avon. So, I mean, and you know, you have all the sonnets in here that you can add to tags and things like that. And all these pictures are Stratford on Avon because that's where he was born and from. So, yeah, for 25 cents, yep, yeah. not to mention the fact, you know. How easy would it be to turn this cover into a journal? You know, all the William Shakespeare stuff is right here in the center. How easy is it to cut wildflower, a picture of wildflower, a, you know, any kind of postcard um, from any digital kit or, or, you know, a regular one or whatever down. Or, you know, even print on fabric and, you know, build up layers, you know, and put it in that square to cover that if you didn't want to do, you know, a Shakespeare thing. So, I mean, and it's a nice brown vintage leathery looking thing because I mean I think this was this had like a really old um 59 from 1959 so um I got the great popular standard song book if you get a chance to get this it would be worth getting um despite the fact that it has all the little you know music covers on it which there are throughout you know, just about every page when you get back here when it's separated, you know, where it has them. Um, and there's like, for me and my gal songs, Broadway show tunes, waltzes, tearjerkers, hot jazz, um, troop songs, which are all military like the Marines hymn and the U.S. Air Force, the Wild Blue Yonder, um, you know, the turn of century, you know, just for fun. Um, that's got like Walting Matilda, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the Pretty Girl is like a melody. You know, it has like, Oh, You Beautiful Doll. Things like that. And it's just page after page of music. So, and we all know music comes in handy. And for a buck, it's 331 pages. So, quite a big book for that. So, I grabbed that. I grabbed this at Half Price Books. Um, books for kids to make. Making books of fly, fold, wrap, hide, pop up, twist, and turn. And there is just a variety of different books that they made and instructions on how to build them and how to do it. So, you know, you may be seeing some new journaly things based out of that. Then I found this, and this was, I absolutely adore this. Um, well, let me go through these first because I did get find these. And I found these. Um, one, this was 25 cents, Mandela's Coloring for Artists. And it's just, you know, the different mandala designs. 
mandala. And then you know, there's some full pages. You know, I thought that would be cute just to sort of trim around the circle, ink up the edges, throw it in there, you know, as a page. And somebody could actually color in their page. And I mean, there's a lot of them, that you, you know, with different designs. And then in the front, which is one of the things I thought was cooler, they have all the little colored images. So, I mean, like, I mean, how much boho does that look right there? So, I mean, there's just a variety. And they, you know, they have little small ones, all colored. And, you know, I can scan these into my Cricut and they'll zoop, zoop, cut around them. Um, you know, scan each side and cut around. So, that's a mandolin with my life. And then there was an Art Nouveau, and some of these are colored, but, uh, you know, so I thought these would be great to add to, like, you know, some of them are colored, but, I mean, that doesn't even really bother me. Um, you know, there's some animal shapes. There's some floral shapes. Yeah, so, but, again, in the front, and that's one thing, if you find these, you know, how cool would it be to have, you know, this is one page and the inside page you open up and it has the colored guide on how to, you know, I mean, some of these are really pretty. And again, you know, that goes through on each color. And I mean, like, that's perfect for a nature book. So, I mean, you know, you have a variety of, there's quite a few flowers and things like that. Yeah. So, found that. Then I found this. This is from 1963. It is the Margaret Rudkin Pepperidge Farm Cookbook. And these are hard to find, um, but I fell in love with it. I love the artwork on here. This is a cover that you do not have to touch in my book. I would not want to take away from the actual art that's on here because it is amazing. This whole entire book, I'm just awestruck with it. So, I mean, it's got the front with the open door in the tree outside with little birds so I mean you could do a whole nature themed um there's actually a curio shelf on the spine which is absolutely adorable on the back they've got this bay window you know out looking outside there's a little cat in the chair all your dinner so I mean I just love the artwork on here um there was they did do a version in 63 they reprinted it in 81 83 um so you can find other ones 63 was the first edition um this happens to actually be a first edition and like seriously i got this from half price books i paid three dollars for it and it is in like extremely nice condition i mean just amazing condition and i mean the artwork inside this makes it worth getting i mean look at that they're all like i mean look at that curio cabinet with all the dishes in it um, there are four sections, The Childhood, The Country Life, Pepperidge Farm, Cooking from Antique Cookbooks, and Ireland. I mean, look at this. I mean, you so could use this, you know, as a page in the beginning of your, you know, recipe book if you wanted to divide it into, you know, four or five sections. Was it four sections, five sections? Five sections. So you could divide your cookbook into five sections. You know, easily put your tab, you know, off the page. You know, glue a couple together so you know you've got some thickness. Um... You could cover childhood up and name that whatever you wanted to because, I mean, you've got a lot of white area there. Um, there's a fresh bread and cakes truck. The lamp post. The, I mean, the, these, just about every page has an image on it, which is. And there's little, like, poems that you could. You know, do a shin of beef and bones, pepper, salt, and onions, carrots and celery, bay leaf, and parsley, leeks and potatoes, a can of tomatoes, and a handful of oatmeal to stick to your ribs. Which is like a little, it says her mother always hummed the recipe like a little tuneless, stop, tuneless song when she made it. Or else she would forget to put something in it. So she would, you know, sing those. So, I mean, there's lots of little images. Look at that. I mean, seriously? Another little fork. And I mean... I mean, the leeks. So, I mean, there is just a ton. Look at that little pepper grinder. I mean, the detail in these pictures. Not to mention, you know, you have all of the... I mean, there's just... 
the, the images are just amazing. And a little hand blunt mixer, which is double boiler. And there is, like, this got a typed recipe in it. Um, I mean, there's just, you know, a ton of little images. I was trying to, there's the country life. It has little cats everywhere. So, I mean, you know, they're each little section. Um, This is the Pepper H Farm one. Um, let me find the. I mean, and they're pretty. And so it had an actual handwritten recipe in it. It's like all brown. You know, the little timer, and I mean, the little loaves of bread. Little teacups, the little cinnamon sticks. The old cook stove. I mean, there's just a ton of images in here. And then, I mean, look at the trees. I mean, that right there is just gorgeous by itself. Cooking from antique cookbooks. I mean, look at that picture. I mean, like this picture you could use. You could use this for anything. I mean, because they're not really recipe based pictures. So, I mean, it would be easy to convert this into anything you wanted to. Books and music. I mean, seriously. I mean, look at the. And this is antique cookbooks. So, there's like actually pages, images of little antique cookbooks. And it'll even have some type, like, this is from Book B, Chapter 13. Um, you know, so there's little vintage pictures that go along with it. And then, you know, as you flip through, there's, you know, other pages. So, I mean, you get, like, instant ephemera. I mean, look at that. I mean, seriously. So, I was quite excited about this book. Yeah, there's more and there's part five which is Ireland I mean how gorgeous is that and then it's got you know all kinds of little Ireland pictures and Irish recipes that you could use so I mean there's just a lot of stuff in there so I fell in love with that book so definitely going to be my recipe journal um, when I get ready to do it so or that's what I'm going to be using is you know this book is a base so you know, you may want to find you a book. And when I do this, let's see. I was trying to find my ruler. Get it sidetracked here. I don't have a hair. Well, it's not a hair ruler, but it'll work. So just to give you an idea, because I know sometimes it's hard to tell in a video. This cover is ten and a quarter by seven and a quarter. So the pages are 10 by 7 on the inside. So that gives you an idea. Nice. Okay. Let's see. What else did I... Oh. Working on the Goodwill. So let me... I have a couple things from there. I did get this top there. I got it 50% off, like I said. So I ended up paying a dollar for it. Well... I have people are like you're cutting shirts up and this is a perfectly good shirt totally wearable um but it had this green lace around it which is just gorgeous on its own i mean there's no dyeing no nothing it's like cutting and using and it goes all the way around the top of the shirt so i mean you know you get a good probably two and a half feet probably five feet a good five feet on the top and then it goes all the way around the bottom and you get probably a good yeah probably a good let's say a good three feet around the bottom and you get a little bit more around the top because it's wider but yeah I would say so I would say you get a good eight feet so what is that almost almost three yards of lace I mean that's cheaper than what you can go to like Hobby Lobby and buy it and it doesn't take a lot of time um, you know especially on lace because it's usually sewed on pretty easy um, so I may keep these and sort of do a video of how I rip them down when I change them over so 
that was one that I did. Then I found this and like I said, I paid $2 for this one. It was brand new. It still has a button on it. It was a size seven. Um, like I think it was actually a little girl's dress. I don't think it was a woman size seven. I don't know. Maybe it was. Um, but seriously, look at this. That is just solid lace. The whole entire thing. I mean, how much are you going to pay? And that's like wedding gown type, wedding gown, wedding veil type lace. I mean, it's not flat lace. It's, you know, three dimensional lace. There's a lot of texture and stuff through there. You don't get on like a lot of lace because when they sew it, it's sort of flat. This actually has rays. Let me see if I can pull it up close enough. You can see it. Yeah, so you can actually see the texture and stuff in there. Um, so it's... Let me, I got my little thing snagged here. So it's all of this. Let me see. I'm trying to get up to the camera. Then all of that on front and back. And then the sleeves... And then the sleeves even have this little ribbon set around it. So, I mean, you know, once I cut up through there, that's going to create, you know, a nice flat area. So, yeah, I'll um, do a video on sort of how I cut this down. And this is a white that I won't dye. I'll keep this the true white um, because I think it sort of has that ode of bridal lace to it. So, that was what I got from the Goodwill. And then I went to my store, my Five Below. You guys have heard me talk about Five Below. Um, five and Below. Everything in there is Five Below. So, I got a 10-count set of gemstone paint brushes. They're not, you know, high quality, like, going to Hobby Lobby and buying artist brushes. But sometimes, we don't need brushes like that. You just need whatever. And they're really cute blue. It sort of matches my room. So, I like that. There was 10 and I paid $3 for the set. So, you know, and but I can't get out of the box. Which I have a jar, I keep mine in anyway, so. Um and I got a little multicolored. Let's see, I don't know if you guys can see the multicolored little brush strands are multicolored. But um yeah, they're not super they're not super soft but they're not super hard there's just a nice mixture and it's got fan brushes and the little ones and it's you know actually has that glittery I don't know if you guys can hear that or not and it, it shakes back for like little crystal rocks so I thought those were really cute so I got that that was three dollars and I will be doing a, another haul video, although it's not technically my haul. Um, my mom gathered a bunch of items for me, so I'll have to come on and share. I did these. Oh, that wasn't. I got these from Walgreens. I'll go ahead and show you these because this was pretty much the only thing I got from there. Um, and it's a set of measuring spoons and cups, but they were on clearance for nine cents nine cents so you know you can't have enough of those okay then back to five below um they have what they call the creative gallery which is what makes a lot of their things they had 37 watercolor cakes um with the brush let's see if i can try to slide this off sometimes they want to come off and sometimes they don't want to come off i actually like keeping the wrappers and stuff with my things because then i can reference back and then what I'll do is I'll actually write on the wrapper, you know, that I got this at five below, although I can tell. <clears throat> so, and they come in this really nice tray. Let me see, I think these are taped somewhere. Let me make sure it's not taped. Oh, yep, there is. I mean, they package this stuff really nice, like, that's taped there, and it's taped down here too. But yeah, these, this was five dollars, and you get, like I guess, said thirty-seven watercolor cakes for five bucks. I mean, that's. 
I mean, they're not going to be, they're not going to be your super high dollar one, but, um, I know you guys have seen me use my watercolor brush pens that I use, um, these in videos. That's where they came from, um, was the five below. And they're blasted and they did really nice, so, I'm, yeah, so these are, you know, the individual dry cakes. Yeah, so, 37 cakes and they've got double of some colors, like, the colors you use all the time, like there's... The purple is just a tad darker, so I mean they like variate. There's a nice variant. There's a gold even, a silver. There's another gold that's almost like a bronze. These are like your metallic ones, your brown and metallics down here, and your black. And you actually get a white too. So, yeah. So for five bucks, I was happy with that. So yeah, if you get a chance to go to a five below. And I mean, they vary. So like this week they may have these, next week they may not. Like they did not have the watercolor brush pens when I went back, but they had these. So, which they hadn't had before. Um, let's see. I'm trying to move things around. I also got this. Um, it's a Piccadilly, Piccadilly brand. Um, it just says 160 high quality pages. It does not tell you what kind that they are. Um, but it's, it says create on the front. This is a sticker that comes off. Um, but it's a sketchbook, but it's, they're pretty thick. I would say it's like sketch, like, it, like your stereotypical white sketch pad, you know, the ones like you get at Walmart or whatever, but there's 160 pages and they're not white. They're like an off white color. So I'm gonna be excited to, you know, do some new backgrounds with that. So, and that was $5, which I mean is pretty good for 160 pages. I was happy with that. So there was that. And then, and again, that was from five below. And then they had these, these were $5. There's 24. And these are liquid watercolor. And they're in the little, and you have your base colors. You know, your white, your pink, your black, your green, sort of, you know, your really, really light mint color, your lime. I mean, you've got, like, your poster color paints, your pastels, and then your dark basic ones. Then you have this row over here. This whole row over here are all, I don't know if you guys can see the shimmer in that. They're like a glimmer. They're glimmer watercolor. And when you open up, I mean, they're aluminum foil, but... And if you can see down in there, they're completely full. I mean, they're not like, you know, some of them you buy and you get like a half button. There, there's a ton in here. So I have not tried working with these. I will try working with these and let you know. Um, yeah, these are nice. So let me see how these work. I love the fact that they're, you know, I got to find a, discover a way to store them. Because obviously I don't want to pull them in and out of this box all the time. So I may have to find some kind of little container to store them in. So yeah, so for five bucks, 24 little containers, and they're like the poster paint size, so nice. We'll have to play with those and see what those do. Okay, then we're going to go to Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby, I picked up this 6x6 six six postbound scrapbook album. Um, you know, it's got the rose, the wood grain rose. It was two twenty four. It had been nine bucks. Um, it's just really pretty, and I thought either I could a use it to store something because they're top loading six by six by six, and so I may use them to like store ephemera or something like that, um, or I may pull these out, use these as pockets. You know, put some pages in between and just sort of use it as a storage journal of sorts. Um, so yeah, I'll see what I can come up with for that. Then they had, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the Nina, the Nina brand of uh, premium cardstock. You can find it at Walmart in white um, and you get 80 pages for about seven bucks. Um, they had these, these were all in, um, this is like in a basic cream color. Um, they usually run $6 a pack. I got them for $1.49 reduced, 50 sheets to a pack. 
it's 65 pounds or 176 GM GSM so yeah so I got one two three four five packs of those um, in the cream you know because you can always use cream card stock and white card stock so yeah I paid um let's see three seven dollars sorry that was loud I paid 50 cents more for that pile than what I would have paid for one if I'd have bought it not on sale so let's see what else I got at Hobby Lobby because they had a, a ton of like arty type stuff I did pick up this bag some are just born with it <clears throat> it's one of the vintage simplicity bags you know with all the vintage stuff they had it had been $4.99 it was $1.24 I got it just to put my charms in um, to carry home uh, so they don't like fly all over the place and it was on clearance so I bought it I, and I love the vintage simplicity stuff so I will end up storing something in here I don't know what yet but I will store something in there so there was that let's see I got this really cute steampunk pen $1.74 had been $6.99 so that was a nice deal I got this Explorer steampunk one that had been six bucks, but it was a dollar forty nine, and it's a heart, a steampunk heart. I got a set of fairy wings that had been four bucks for ninety nine cents. I got these are actually buttons. They're arrow buttons. Have been two ninety nine. I got them for seventy four cents. So I don't know if you can see those, and they're actually the little metal backed buttons. At this Explorer one had been $3.99. I got it for $0.99 cents and it's got north, south, east, and west. And then the little charm opens up on the back and it says, God does not provide a map for life, only a compass. And it's got a little thing on there, so it'd be really cute. And for a Traveler's one, I paid $1.24. had been $5. It's a little, I'll try to get where you can, hopefully you can see the colors and the little gem in there. They're so cute in the little plane. Let's see. Um, they had the five pack of the little like metallic-y colored charms have been $5.99 and for $1.24 for little tassels. Um, I picked up a silicone uh, master's touch brush. This wasn't on clearance. It was $3.99 um, just because I've been wanting to get a silicone for my Mod Podge and things like that. And this was $4.99 and I got 50% off of it and it was six little be bumblebees. So, I got those. Let me put those back in the bags before I lose them because I haven't got them sorted and put away in my little charm cabinet yet. Okay. So, oh, I'm going to put my brush in there too. Oh, I'll just put my brush up actually up in here in my little brush container. So, I got that. I'm sorry this is probably dragging on so long. Um, this had been $14.99. I got it for $3.74. It was by the Paper Studio. It's the wax seals with the little metal handle you screw in. Um, this one is the numbers, so it's got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Again, I thought this would be really cute to use in a multitude of ways. <coughs> On the cover, you could do your year like 2000, uh, 2020 for this year, you know, on the cover of every journal you make for 2020 as, you know, a sort of decoration. Um, you could number it just if you have something you know you want to do in numbered order um if you wanted to do the 25 days of christmas you could do that um also if you wanted to do you know 365 pages in a journal you literally could go through and stamp every single day um and one thing i liked about these is not just can you use them with wax um or with um hot glue you know you can do some other things with it too well the but they had been $14.99 I got them for $3.74 so I got those and we'll be doing a couple crafts and things with with those because I got some really cool ideas with those then my find of the day was let me see if I can find one that has it these are the Amsterdam acrylic inks they're 30 mil uh, or one ounce um, they are usually $6.99 at Hobby Lobby I got them reduced for $1.74 um, it's by Royal Talons um, these are really awesome to use and we're gonna be doing a lot of things with those you do have to shake them and all that but this one is 
emerald green, permanent green light, and I'll try to, I mean, you can see the difference between the greens. Hopefully you guys can see the color difference. Um, let's see, I think there was one other green, let me see. Yes, there's permanent green deep. So I don't know if you guys can see the three color differences between those or not, hopefully. Hopefully you'll be able to see those. So yeah, there's three different colors of greens. And there was actually two of the permanent green lights. So there's actually two of those. Then, let's see, I think this was, um, these are Naples yellow red light. And so it's like a peach, sort of like a whitey peach color. It's really pretty, like almost like a skin tone peach color. So there's two of those. There was a black oxide, oxide black, sorry. An oxide black, which is always nice to have. Um, so I'm just going to keep an eye out and, you know, buy these. There was a grayish blue that's like a country goosey bluey color that's just really, really pretty. Uh, there was a vermilion, which is like an orange. There is a, a Azo yellow lemon. Isn't that yellow gorgeous? And then there is a... Uh, let's see, Quinas Redone, Quinas Redone Rose, Quince Redone, I don't know, not sure how I botched that up, it's spelled Q-U-I-N-A-C-R-I-D-O-N-E, so, Quinacridone Rose maybe, I don't know, it's gorgeous, really, really, like almost like a Barbie, Barbie pink color. So, you know, I'll be, so for a buck 74, so there was two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven 10, 11 of those. So, um, let's see, 17, 40, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, um, where you can make your own if you, you know, don't have these. So, you know, you may want to pick up on some dropper bottles to store them in. Um, and we're going to be doing some, you know, different painting and, you know, different things like that. Some backgrounds and things like that coming up. So we have a lot coming up um, and a lot of plans coming. So, uh, but that was my haul for this time. Again, like I said, I'm going to have a haul later on. Um, from stuff my mom gathered because she gathered some really awesome cute stuff so I'll be sharing that in a short video um, so I'm gonna let you go for now you guys have a great day we will be back um, working on our bluebells and daisy journal finishing it up um, let me move these to the side well I'll just do another preview video on it on it uh, coming up but so I'll finish that in another video but um, yeah, so that was my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, stay tuned. We'll have some really cool stuff coming out of it. I will do, um, because somebody did ask about how I convert, you know, cut my clothes down and that and dye it. I may cut them down and we may even do, I'll do an alcohol dye with re-inkers that you guys can see so we can do it on camera right in front of you so you can see it. Um, okay. You guys have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye.